It won't be long before winter is here and road salt deliveries are running late this year. That's right. Officials say it could lead to shortages in some areas. TV6's Nicole Buckman has more. It might not look like it, but winter is right around the corner. The Marquette County Road Commission, like other agencies, is awaiting the salt deliveries that the engineer manager says are running about three weeks behind. The salt is coming later than it usually is, and there has been some issue in getting salt up here transported to the UP. Now the Road Commission says that usually by this time of the year, their salt sheds are overflowing with salt. Now despite them being only about half full, they're not worried as they expect this to last before the next delivery of salt arrives. Well, there was a half a boatload delivered a week or so ago, and they're getting salt out to those that really need it and don't have the inventory like we do here at the Road Commission and then my, my understanding is an, another boat is going to come in sometime next week. The Elger County Road Commission says although their salt levels are lower than usual, they're in good condition. But we do have enough for, oh, say, well, we could get through a couple storms, good storms yet, you know, with what I got in the barn. It's larger contractors and businesses that may feel the impact of salt shortages this winter as they reached out to county road commissions that are part of the state salt purchase program. We were contacted by several vendors that do private work about uh, obtaining salt from us and that's not something that we do. We don't buy salt and sell it to uh, the general public. Both Marquette and Elger warn motorists to drive slowly as road conditions worsen. And things tend to be icy early in the year and then late in the year and uh, just, just beware. The Marquette County Road Commission is in the process of bringing in their winter temps to prepare for the snowy season. Nicole Buckman, TV6 News, Marquette County.